Hello guys, welcome to the solution video of Senior Level IRC School League 2016. This is the arena on the screen of a senior level. What you guys need to do on the senior level is you need to segregate the waste from the wasteland to the respective recycle area and with the help of a programmable robot and from the recycle area you need to take it to the recycle plant with the help of a mechanical robot. So now I'm going to show you the programmable robot. So I made a simple model for it. I used two color sensors. One is facing on the floor which will sense the color of the arena and another is facing the forward side of a robot which will sense the color of boxes. And there is a crane which will grab the object and drag it to the respective recycle plant. And how it will do that? We are going to program it like we are, our robot is moving in forward direction in search of any of the box in front of its sensor 4. Whenever it will get any of the box in front of the sensor 4, suppose we will get a green color box. So it will stop nearby that box and it will move its crane arm down. It will grab that box and again it will start moving in forward direction. It will move in forward direction uh, till when it will reach at the recycle plant area. Suppose as I told you we have a green color box and if the robot is entering in any of the color apart from green, so it will sense that color and move back and take a right turn and it will continue this process till when it will reach at the same color which is sensed by sensor 4. As we are taking it for green, it will move till the, when it will sense green color on both of the sensors. Suppose we reach at a green color surface by dragging a green color box. So it will stop at that position and it will move its crane arm up and move, move back and take a right turn. So it will read that box in the same color. And now we are working for the programming of this mod. So guys, here's the screen of our ro software RoboG SR. Here we're going to make the program for our programmable robot. But before that, we need to make lots of functions to make our program simpler. And we need to create a variable too. So here we I'm creating a variable which is a global variable type. And I'm giving the name as position crane. Because with the help of this variable, we're going to declare the position of our crane, whether it is up or down and I'm creating the global variable because we can use this global variable in the main area as well as in functions. So now we're going to create functions. So the first function I'm going to create is forward if I need to make or make my robot move in forward direction. So for that I need to drag two motor direction block in this function tab and I need to select motor port 3 and motor port 4 because in my robot, uh, base motors are connected with port 3 and port 4. This is the function of forward. Now I'm going to create one more function which is backward and a right turn. So I'm giving it as a name of back underscore right. So here we need to make our robot move in back direction first. So I'm taking motor blocks and I'm going to select motor port 3 and 4 and if we move in back direction, I'm taking anti-clockwise and clockwise direction. Here, I'm giving a time to move it for a particular time in back direction. I'm taking 1000 milliseconds or one second for it. And now I'm going to drag two more motor blocks to make my robot move in right direction. So I'm selecting again motor port 3 and motor port 4 clockwise clockwise to make it turn right. And again, a time block. Time block with the time of 400 millisecond, it varies according to the weight and size of your robot. And the third function we are creating is it's the crane down, which will declare the position of crane. With crane down, we are going to make the arm of the crane move in down direction. So for that, we need to stop our robot first. So for that, I'm selecting motor port 3 and motor port 4 and I'm giving direction of stop to the robot. And now I'm taking one more motor block, port 1, which I'm going to move in a clockwise direction. So with the clockwise direction, my arm of the crane is will move in down direction. I'm going to take a time period for it. So the time I'm taking to move is 700 milliseconds. And now I need to stop the arm of the crane. So for that, I'm taking one more motor direction block and I'm taking stop direction for it. And after that, I need to use another function in the function. So for that, uh, and the function which I'm using is back and right. 
so whenever it will uh, move a crane arm down and after that it will move back and take a right turn then again i need to create one more function which will make our crane arm move up so for that here i need to drag again two motor blocks and motor blocks with a port 3 and port 4 again i need to stop my robot so for that i am selecting stop direction and after that again i am selecting port 1 now this time we are going to selecting anti clockwise direction to make our, our crane arm move and so the time again we need to give to move our crane arm i am taking again 700 milliseconds and now we need to take one more motor block to stop our the crane of the robot and after that again i am taking a function of back and right turn these are four functions and there is one more important function we are giving a name of box gripping with this we are going to decide the, with the help of crane arm whether we, it will need to move arm down or up or whether it need to grab or not so for that what we are doing is in the function we are giving a condition with an if else so here we are going to select a created variable position of a crane which is equals to constant 0 it means our arm of the crane is at a position so here is we need to take a variable with which we made to move a crane arm down and after that we need to take the variable arithmetic block and in this we need to increment the value of this created variable with number 1 and after that we need to take one more function which is back and right we are taking here so if the position is up so it will goes it will sense it and automatically the crane arm will goes down and after that it will increment 1 in the value of the created variable and then it will move back and right and in the else condition it will goes for back and right turn so now we are working in a main area in main area we always need to start a program with the start clock and if we are using any of the variable so we need to use it just after the start clock so we are using this created very global variable with a defined value of 0 and after that when you know we need to use the sensor so for that we are using while forever block and we are using sensor port 3 and sensor port 4 for our model so we are selecting sensor 3 and sensor 4 block and as you know we are using color sensor we are going to select the color sensor from here and after that we need to give various conditions for the program so first condition we are giving is with a if statement only with the if statement and the condition is if our sensor 3 is sensing white color means it's in the wasteland area then what will happen if it is not sensing the white color it's not in the waste wasteland area then the robot need to perform a different task and suppose for now it's in the wasteland area we are taking an if else statement to give the further conditions so here in this we are selecting color sensor 4 and if a color sensor 4 will sense black color then we we need to move forward so for that we have created a function with the name forward and in else we need to move our crane arm down so we are creating we are taking the created variable crane arm down here what will happen if our sensor 3 will sense white color and there is nothing in front of our color sensor 4 which is on the front side of our robot so it will keep on going forward and forward and if there is any of the color except black so it means there is any box so our robot has to move our crane arm down and after that what will happen we need to increment the value of arithmetic so our program will identify that uh, what is the position of our crane arm so for that we are incrementing it with one and after that in the else condition here we need to give a forward function so if it is not with these conditions so it will keep on going forward and forward and after that we need to take one more if block so we are placing one more if block here and in this we are going to take another condition in which our color sensor 3 will sense any of the color so as you know this is only the hint video so i am going to show you for a single color we are taking it 
of a green color and for rest of the colors you guys need to work on your own so here in this again i need to take a false statement we are taking a false in the if statement and in this we are giving condition is if our sensor 3 is sensing green but and if else we are giving sensor 4 is sensing green so what does this mean is our, both of our sensor will be uh, sensing green color and in that we need to give one more condition to compare the position of our crane arm so we are giving the condition as if our uh, position of crane arm is greater than 0 so it's mean if the position of crane arm is down so we need to take a function to make it move in up direction so that we are taking crane up function and after that we are taking a variable arithmetic block so after it's going up it will again make the value of the created variable as 0 so it will again identify the position of the crane so after that again in the else of this we need to take one more if else block and in this we are giving again the same condition our sensor 4 is sensing the green color but in the comparison the created variable is equals to 0 so it means at the value uh, the position of crane arm is down so we need to move back so for that we are taking back and right function and in else of this function we need to take one more if else condition and this we are giving the condition if sensor 4 is sensing black color so here what will happen if our sensor 4 is sensing black color and sensor 3 is sensing the same green color so what the robot has to move back and take a right turn and now in the else of this if else what are what will be the condition if a robot is sensing green color in both of the sensors and then it will check the position of the crane uh, if it is up so it will move back and if it is down so it will make it move up and come back we are going to fix this box gripping function here and so this is the first solution program for a single color so for rest of the colors you guys need to work on your own and best of luck with the competition thank you